Did you apply this skill set any time outside of your official capacity? Yes, I applied my expertise to the death of Jesus at the hands of the Romans. And I actually looked at the Gospels as I would any other set of forensic statements. Within a matter of months, I determined that the four Gospels, written from different perspectives, contained the eyewitness accounts about the life, ministry, death, and resurrection of Jesus. And did you consider that the four accounts might be part of a conspiracy designed to promote belief in a fledgling faith? Yeah, you have to consider conspiracies when assessing eyewitness accounts. But successful conspiracies typically involve the fewest number of people. It's a lot easier for two people to lie and keep a secret than it is for 20. And that's really the problem with the conspiracy theories related to the apostles in the first century. There are just far too many of them trying to hold this conspiracy for far too long a period of time. And far worse, they're experiencing pressure like no other, unimaginable pressure. Every one of these folks was tortured and died for what they claimed to see, and none of them ever recanted their story. So the idea that um, this is a conspiracy in the first century is just really unreasonable.